Quick, someone call the cops. I'm a nail art thief. Hey guys, what's up? Hello, holo, everyone. And guess what? Looks like I finally broke the water marble code. That's right, bitch. Okay, so if you're new here, let me break it down for you. For decades and decades, I have struggled to achieve the water marble perfection on my nails. Well, let's not be dramatic. It was more like several months. Disenchanted by my repeated water marble failures, I set out to break the water marble code by cheating at it. I've been through so many water marble witch hunts. I failed at dipping the fingers in the water thing, found refuge with nail vinyls, drag marbled myself to a fallacy of redemption, stamped the fuck out of water marbles, and kidnapped a Russian. And then I also forced my boyfriend to unlock the powers of water marble, and he actually did it. And then I was like, well, fuck my life. And now it's time that I reveal to you my next secret in How to Cheat at Water Marble Part 5. I am kind of an obsessive person. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. It took me a really long time to figure out, but I used a printer and I cheated. <laughs> okay, so full disclosure, I stole this water marble from a Russian, obviously. You guys know Yagala, right? Well, we decided to make a mani swap out of my theft so I didn't feel as bad about the crime I committed. <laughs> me and Yagala go way back. Anyone remember a shit nail artist say? This was her. And this was me. And now here we are. Now I have four nail polish shelves. Galena, that's Yagala's real name, told me that she was going to try and speak some English in her video, which you can go check out. I put the link below. So I thought, well, I should probably try and speak some Russian in this video, to be fair. Uh, help. Okay, let me try this. Don't laugh. Vorperkiva ya nayanisaya. What? That sounds like Japanese. I can't pronounce this right. Let me try again. Vopervik yananisinya shelushitsya bazovogo bokartira takshkoya mogu sokranit moapilis kakserini ubitsya. How'd I do? On my way to being Russian? Excellent. Great. You gotta paint your nails white because we're gonna put colors on white and colors show up over white. Yay. English. Look at that one coat wonder like what? This is my favorite white but you gotta apply it like a mastered skill polish applier and have a little patience. The next step is the fun step, it's the stealing step. You're gonna go to YouTube or whatever tube, no, just just, just YouTube, just YouTube kids. And you're gonna find a picture of a water marble that you really like, that you wanna steal. Ironically enough, a lot of the things that come up when I search water marble are my videos on how to cheat it. Well, that's not very helpful, is it? Okay, I'm just gonna search for Yagala's page because I already know that I wanna steal one of hers. Here we go, yes, I want that on my nails. And guess what? I'm gonna get it on my nails, bitch. So find the part in the video where that witchcraft shit is happening in the cup. Try and find the perfect moment to pause the video. Ah, oh, the stupid bar is in the way. And then you're just gonna zoom in as much as you can with your mouse thingy or whatever, and then take a screenshot. And you're gonna copy that screenshot onto a Word document or something else you can print. And as you can see, I am doing a lot of proper measurements about how to size it to my nail. Yes, these are very proper. This is a good way of doing it. Next, you're gonna get some clear water slide deco paper that's made for inkjet printers. I know, what a mouthful. I did some research to try and figure out which kind of deco paper was best for nails because some of them are a little too thick and I ended up getting these ones off Amazon. I'll put a link to the exact ones I bought down below in the video description box. And I gotta hand it to Becky who left me this comment a couple months ago. I think she knew what I was trying to do in my how to cheat at water marble part 4 video that turned into a kidnapping crime so thank you Becky. <laughs> my printer is not dirty at all. I clean the house all the time. Okay, so then you're gonna print your stolen water marble on your deco paper. Make sure you have it facing the right side in your printer. And bam, you're gonna pop that stolen water marble baby out of that printer. Except this is taking a really long time. One mistake that I did make that I wanna share with you guys is that the first time I printed the stolen water marble, I just printed it at whatever default quality setting. And yeah, it was really granular and it didn't really print that nice. So I printed it again and this time made sure to change my printer settings to best quality and set it on glossy paper. I don't know what that does, but it makes it better. See, I told you this tutorial would be somewhat helpful. Next, you're gonna get a glossy taco. Wait, no, that's not what you're getting, not at all. You're getting 
using clear nail polish, not a top coat. And you're gonna cover that entire stolen water marble in the clear polish. Now during my research, I did find that the internet was suggesting I spray my decal with a clear coat. They meant a clear coat in a spray can meant for, I don't know, like outdoor wood furniture. <laughs> what do people use this stuff for? But I'm not a fan of spraying liquids everywhere, so I decided to use this clear nail polish and I'm happy to report that it worked perfectly. The reason why I didn't use a regular quick dry top coat is because I'd heard will make the decal shrink, so I used a clear nail polish so that hopefully that didn't happen. You don't need to cover everything you printed, just the parts of the design that you think you're gonna put on your nail. And ooh, what's that on my other hand? It's so sparkly and pretty and kind of elegant, but also hollow at the same time. It's a Formula X polish and I got it from Sephora because where else do they sell Formula X? Do they sell Formula X anywhere else? I'm not sure. Funny story, when I first heard Formula X, I thought it was a sex tape and then I found out it was nail polish and I loved it immediately. Back to the water marble cheating. You're gonna take some tiny Russian scissors, how fitting, and cut out the bulk of your design. And here you can kind of guesstimate how big each little piece needs to be to fit your nail. But definitely cut them out so they're bigger than your nail and then you can cut them down to size later. Then you gonna drop them in a cup of water. Oh, I just got haunted by my boyfriend's exceptional water marbling skill set. <laughs> <laughs> Continue boycotting the water marble rituals by throwing your stolen water marble designs into a cup of water. Drown water marble bitches, drown, drown! I'm finally getting my wish. Now I thought the next step was gonna take like at least a minute, but it happened pretty much immediately. The decal started separating super easily from the paper flat back thingy, and bam, there's your water marble decal. Well that was easy. So I was surprised by how easy that was, and I wasn't expecting that to work out very well, so I just started putting them down on my nail art mat for now. Okay, now here's the last step, which is probably the most challenging part because so far this was all so easy. I know you can thank me later. Essentially, you need to trim it down to fit your nail, kind of like a nail wrap, except you gotta do the work cutting out the wrap. I found that it was really easy to manipulate the water decal because it was still wet and it was kind of malleable and flexible. So just take your tiny Russian scissors and be really careful, try not to cut your skin. Oh my God, this is always my worst nightmare and ever so gently cut around your nail. Do these colorful plastic flexible things remind anyone of fruit roll-ups? Mmm, delicious childhood breakfast memories. So you don't have to trim down the deco all the way to your nail. Leave like a tiny bit around all the edges. But I'll show you why later it was probably a better idea to leave even a little bit more. Anyways, you'll see. Next you're gonna remove your deco that you've just custom shaped to your nail. See, it's not stealing if I made it custom fit for me. Then you're gonna take some clear nail polish or top coat, doesn't really matter. I just used the clear polish because it was lying around. Slap it on your nail and use that to adhere the water marble onto your nail. Press down the water marble decal slowly and spread it out carefully so you don't get any air bubble thingies. Now normally I complain all the time about my nails being so curved and being unable to press down decals or anything flat on my super curved nails. But these decals actually hugged the curves of my nails super well. I guess you could say this decal paper is really flexible once it gets a little wet. The next step is to take a cleanup brush, dip it in 100% acetone, and then use it to press down on the edges of the design to seal it in around your nail. Using the acetone is key because it helps to dissolve the decal a little bit, and that's what you wanna do is dissolve it into your nail, basically. That sounds bad, but it's actually not a problem at all. And I'm doing the same thing around the sides of my nail and my cuticle, and finally, you're gonna add a nice thick glossy taco because you're getting hungry. Also because you wanna conceal the fact that you printed out this design and stuck it on your nails. Why is water marble water marble in Russian? <laughs> That's my only question. But yeah, so basically what I wanted to say was fuck you water marble. If you weren't sure, this is my middle finger. I'm giving it to all the people who can water marble in a cup. So you can tell up close a little, just a little that it's printed, but blame that on my crappy printer. Remember when I mentioned that I thought top coat would shrink the water marble decal? Well, it did shrink the water marble decal after I'd already applied it on my nails. So now you can learn from my experiences and know that you need to leave a little extra room on the decal around your nail before you apply a top coat because the top coat's gonna shrink the decal. That's right, I'm still saying decal.
Dico. Like the way you guys like to hear me say words. All right, let's get real. These nails are great and all, but I am distracted by the background because hollow. It's time to put a hollow taco on my nails. Yes, of course, Christine. <laughs> Can't go a tutorial without doing this now. You know you're an addict when. Beautiful, just beautiful. Committed like a true criminal. The neons haven't really been showing that well under all the lights, so I changed the lights around for you guys so you can get to enjoy the neonness. Yeah, look at that. Super bright in your face, bitch. I stole it, bitch! <laughs> and that concludes my How to Cheat at Water Marble Part 5. You could say I'm an expert in this. Make sure to go show Yagala some love for her actual water marbling skills. <laughs> go subscribe to her YouTube channel and check her out on Instagram. That's where she slays the nail art world. And I just want to stress real quick before I sign off here. If you're gonna steal someone's water marble, print it and put it on your nails, you should probably give them credit for coming up with the water marble design in the first place. After all, they are witches. And they could probably cast a spell on you or kill you. So you better be careful. Also, because giving credit as to where you got your ideas is a good thing to do as a human. Yes, do it. Do it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.